Go. Discerning shootist here for blue collar prepping. This is my potato box that I built, what, 10 days ago? And right here, see my potatoes that are coming up. I got some coming up here. This one, there's all kinds of plants coming up. This is where I put a couple of halves in. A couple things that I would change. I do water it every day. Uh, you can see the soil is pretty moist in a couple of spots. I have not added my red potatoes yet on the far side. I probably wouldn't build it as this tall. When I do strawberries here in the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to use the pallet. Just one pallet next to each other. It's four inches deep. I think I've been plenty deep enough. I actually maybe have overbuilt this. And just looking, looking at that, I'll evaluate it again and determine it here in another week or so when I start harvesting potatoes. Two other things here this week. And you know, if you've been following along that I relate having chickens to like prepping for the end of the world. And also this winter has been very hard. I lost four of the six chickens that I started with. Well, sense of community, paying attention, whether it's social media or the people that you know, being a part of that member of your community has allowed to get me two more chickens that were younger, same breed, for free. So I had to go get them. And I've had them for a week. I've gotten some eggs from them. There's an interesting adjustment going there. The two old girls and the two new girls, you know how it is, getting along, filling each other out. Today has actually been a pretty good day. I had three in one area and I had my loner chicken all by herself. So the acclimation is kind of going. Now if we can just get some regular egg production back going on, I'll be a happy camper. And in those recent exploits, it's kind of put forth an idea about what to do for this upcoming winter, of which I will share with you as we get closer. And finally, not as a political statement, however, with the incoming import tariffs that are gonna happen, cheap items that we can get at a lot of these places like Dollar Tree and Walmart, and in this next case, Tractor Supply, are probably gonna to come to an end. So, if you have the wherewithal and the means and you see a good deal, by all means, get it. If you can afford it, budgeted for it, something you always thought about, I would highly recommend it. You know, we're gonna see that next week with an individual first aid kit. I'm gonna to go to the Dollar Tree. But in particular case is this, pencil torch. It's butane filled. It probably won't take up a lot of abuse. However, it works good. It's got butane in it. I paid $4 for the pair. You gotta light it with a lighter, but you know what, that's okay. Less moving parts, the less likely it is to break, but two of them for four bucks. When you need one, always want one. I figure I better get one now. So, you know, as they say, or as I say, timing is everything, as do others, as well as it's all about the sense of community. So, that's the discerning shootist. Be good, be safe. If you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.